<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's time for another General Hospital review. And before we get into the review, just a heads up. My allergies have been acting up today, so it might sound a little stuffy. It's been going in and out. But, you know, just a heads up, so you're not like, well, what's going on? It's not your audio. It's, it's just my nose, but... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I enjoyed this week's episodes much better than last week's. I don't know, earlier this week, I was like, kind of like, wait, what's going on? <laughs> but definitely enjoyed, um, especially Thursday and Friday's episode. But anyway, so they found, um, Victor's goons found Trina. <laughs> yeah, it was like, ugh, I just knew they were going to figure it out eventually after she took the um radio last week <sighs> yeah so um one of the guys realized it and you know told victor and so they set it up to where they did like a fake drill or something so that the um they would leave the post so that she would go in and then um yep sure enough they got her <laughs> yeah, Victor had let um Spencer out and he was talking to Spencer and he's like he knows that, you know, you're gonna do right now because, you know, he, he holds all the cards now and um sure enough they come in. <laughs> it, I think it's funny how it was like two or three guys <laughs> brought out Trina <laughs> I'm like, Y'all couldn't one of y'all couldn't handle <laughs> Yeah, well, she did come in, like, it's kicking and stuff. Like, she um, gave him some trouble getting up there. But, anyway, I thought that was funny. But, um, you know, Spencer, you know, the boy face on the But, yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, we had a little stowaway. You know, he had a feeling. Um, It all makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah they went out to um they brought out um Liesl too they brought out Liesl they didn't bring out Ace <laughs> but um well earlier in the week um Victor did um give Ace to Spencer cause he kept crying um cause you know he has colic um uh, I think it was funny how Victor just gave Gave him this mention I'm like, Here, take this little thing. <laughs> kind of like me. <laughs> when my nieces and nephews were little and they were just like, I'm like playing with them and then you would just smell the shit in their diapers. And I'm like, oh no, your mama is right over here. Here, here, here's your child. <laughs> I'm like, no. I, 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 I. I'm past doing diaper duty. <laughs> My babysitting days are gone, but luckily they're not old. The younger two still wear diapers, um, but, you know, hopefully they're potty trained. If they do move back down here, they're potty trained by the time they come down here. Or, um, yeah. <laughs> Mom, come change your child. Anyways, I, of course, I get off subject. Less than five minutes into the review, and I'm already off subject. Anyway, but yeah, I thought that was funny how Victor did that. But yeah, anyway, Lisa's like, where'd she come from? <laughs> I just love Lisa's face. <laughs> Gotta laugh her. But um, yeah, they went out to the um side of the boat, and Victor's like, you know what? Just toss them both over. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> no, don't do it. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, cause um, yeah, Spencer's like, you know, he'll do whatever um Victor wants him to do, you know, just you know, just wants to protect Trina. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This is what long, long, young love, so beautiful. <laughs> So stupid at times too, because Victor was going to dump them both over. It was like you know, he's like, but I know your ass ain't gonna listen to me. Cause he's like, you know, you know, brought you on the ship the beginning because he thought you know Spencer was right or die, but you know, of course not. He's like, no, this is wrong and stuff. So, yeah. Poor Victor. 
he has no um no family that um will go along with his plans. The ones that probably would go along with his plans are dead. <laughs> but you know, we do have Selena coming back, so we'll see how that goes. You know, they never dictated whether it was that she was coming back as alive or is this, you know, I don't know, Victor sees her on his way to hell or something. I don't know. Because I, I don't see Victor staying alive much longer. But anyway, she was going to dump them, but then Victor stopped them. And then he was going to do it, and then he changed his mind and was like, yeah, toss them. But, um... Liesl talks him into letting them stay, um, saying that, you know, she can use them with whatever it is that she's trying to get her to help them with, um, which I still, I still don't really truly understand what exactly he's trying to do with, is he trying to fix global warming, or is he trying to freeze the world, like, um, that's what they did back in the day with the Ice Princess. Try to fuse the world, I guess. I don't know. But, um, try not to sneeze. <laughs> okay. Don't sneeze. That's so annoying. Because it's like when you sneeze once, it just keeps coming and coming. You just sneeze over and over again. And eventually it starts hurting, too. I'm like, ow. Anyways, I'll stop drinking. But they finally got Trina out of that dress. Lord, you know, been in that dress for almost a month now. But, um, they had, some, they had a lobster found on the boat. <laughs> so, she got into some, um, I thought that was funny. I was like, what? You, um, want some, uh, your captors to be comfortable, so you had to get out the dress. <laughs> well, I mean, she, she needed to shower. <laughs> I mean, her hair still looks really good, but come on, girl. Eventually, you know, you gotta wash, you know, at least the port and stuff. Um, <laughs> yeah, and, and, and yeah, the breath, yeah, definitely. At least, uh, brush your teeth. You know, can't have stank breath and be make. Uh, uh, I don't think Spencer would have cared about stank breath, though. You know, I was like, he's just like so in love with Trina, like. He would take her B.O. and thank Rev. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> that's true love. Yeah, That's when you know somebody loves you. If they can kiss you in the morning with your morning. <laughs> Me, as soon as I get up. I need to brush my teeth. But just, it's just, anyway, I'm just, <laughs> off subject again. Not even 10 minutes in, and I've gotten off subject, like, at least five times, but anyway. Anyways, but, yeah, they, um, Victor had them put, um, Trina in the room with Spencer, and it's like, oh, I thought they would keep them separate. I'm like, oh, Victor, he's, um, a supporter of young love, definitely. But yeah, Trina was, um, oh, and yeah, they go in, and they're just, like, all over each other, and, um, Trina said that, um, dating him is, like, an adventure, and she wants to explore everything. She wants to experience everything with him. I'm like, the way she said it, I'm like, hold up. She's talking about sex now. You, you want sex? <laughs> And Jared, they come they come back to the scene and he's like, Well, you know, this is not how I pictured our first time. And she's like, um uh, it doesn't matter when or how, um, she loses her virginity. It's just like what makes it special is that it's with you. I'm like, oh, so romantic. And I'm like, <laughs> Damn girl, you really horny. <laughs> but it was like, oh, yeah, your, your uncle's probably going to kill us. So before we die, yeah, I would like to sample the Cassidine. Um, <laughs> 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 
she would love to experience the sex. So I'm like, I don't blame you, girl. I mean, you saw him. Oh no, she she was under the bed, so she didn't get to see the full body picture. But I think she um those kisses. I think those kisses definitely got her thinking. You know, hey, yeah, I want some kisses down low now. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop being. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop being a perv now. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, I thought it was cute. I'm like, oh, like this, they're really gonna do it? Oh my gosh! And I'm like, just like, <laughs> I'm like, have my spaghetti, and I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. okay, it's definitely something I can watch. But no, um, they don't do it. Uh, Spencer realizes that they are on, they may land fall somewhere. I don't know. But um, <laughs> now that I think about it. If they're making love for the first time, I'm sure Victor is not supplying condoms. <laughs> so she she wants to raw what do you call it raw dog in it. So yeah, so basically she's trying to make a new um cast it on air. <laughs> Possibly. But you know, women in um Poor Charles are very fertile, as you see with all these baby storylines. Lord Jesus. Anyway, so yeah, that happened at the end of Friday, so we'll have to wait. Um, how long did we wait for the first kiss? Um <laughs> Oh Lordy, like a year and a half. Yeah, because that was summer twenty one. That they were, um, they first met. Um, and then, um, yeah, summer 21, and then they kissed after the wedding on Valentine's Day. Um, uh, well, it was still Valentine's Day to them, to us, it was a week later. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that was August, August 2021. So, it's February 2021. 23, so that's a year and a half, so, wait a year and a half for a kiss, so, sex, yeah, so two years for the sex, <laughs> yeah, but, um, Curtis and Jew may know, um, where they're going, um, Curtis was talking to, um, he was talking to Portia, and something about Jew came up, and then, you know, they hit Curtis, you know, hey, let me go talk to Jew, so, yeah, they ended up, um, I, you know what, I have no idea where they were, it looked like, sort of like, maybe a storage unit or something, but they came across a map, and, was it a water bottle or canteen or something, with the Scorpio, um, Zodiac symbol on there. <laughs> and Curtis is like, I don't know, you're in astrology. <laughs> but, um, Jew was like, yeah, but his birthday is, is in, um, uh, September. Yeah, which the, in a September, um, that was it, September 20, 20, 20th, 21st through, um, October 2021. 20, 20, you know, those are Scorpio. Isn't that Scorpios? Now I got a good go. Because <laughs> I know Scorpio does overlap in um, October. Um, yeah, oh, October 23rd to September 21st. Okay. Well, I, uh, well, I knew it was in October, so do. Oh, that explains it because my cousin's birthday is on October 30th and she's a Zodi. And she's a Zodi. Yeah. She's a Scorpio, so yeah, I should have known that. Um, anyways, and plus Eve, the rapper Eve, what, um, she's a Scorpio. I think hers was at the end of October too. Um, well, obviously. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I really don't. I I I still don't really understand. I really don't understand the storyline. I'm just watching it basically. <laughs> And enjoying what I can, because eventually, eventually Victor will uh, go away. 
and this will be over, I guess. I guess they're finally wrapping up older storylines because they also ended the. I'm guessing the music one has ended too, which I'll talk about in a, in a minute. That deserves talking about, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, they brought the stuff to um, Laura. And I guess they. Um, I guess the map leads to something, so. Maybe an island, but yeah, because it was making me think that they were going back to Cassadine Island. Makes me think. I don't know. Did they ever rule that out? Because I know they talked about it, but I don't know. I don't know. Reading what I, um, but um, I didn't know that Ava didn't know about Trina. But I guess no, but not many people know about Trina because you know, um. Uh, yeah, cause that yeah, I guess a lot of people don't really know about you know. But anyways, if um if the didn't Carly have went to um Windermere to let Avery know that she was going to be a flower girl and um Michael and Willow's wedding. It was good to see Avery. Not only see Avery, but it was good to see Avery and Ava together. It's like, oh, so cute. And if you talk about Avery, she's so gorgeous, this gorgeous little girl. Yeah, I was like, oh, they actually got the same um actress for her. Because, you know, with some kids, you know, they don't show that often. So it was like, it just seems like it's a new kid every time you see them. <laughs> but I remember Avery looks like Avery, definitely. But anyways, um, Carly mentioned Trina and, um... Ava was just like freaking out and she's like, Oh, I have to go, you know, see Portia. And I'm like, Oh I thought that was cute. I thought that was really nice that um Ava um said that wanted to do that. She wants to go see Portia and they talked about it and um Portia was just so upset that um uh, thinks that um she doesn't think that Trina was kidnapped. She thinks that Trina just followed Spencer. I don't know if, um, if, did Trina, I don't think that Trina said that she followed Spencer. I can't remember what she said in the call last week, um, but, um, Portia said that Spencer is just too much trouble and that when they get back, she's going to make sure that Trina stays away from Spencer. I'm like, good luck on that, girl. Seriously, good luck on that. Because <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> you can't stand in way of young love. Something uh, something will happen. <laughs> good or bad. But, uh, yeah, but, come on, you know, when somebody tells somebody that they can't see somebody, they're definitely going to want them. They're going to want them. <laughs> Especially why would Trina listen to Portia? I was like, you should be trying to build your um build your relationship back up with your daughter and telling her to stay away from the man that she loves is not gonna be that's just gonna lead to hella conflicts and um um premarital sex and babies 'cause you know, during hospital they just love telling baby storylines. I mean, since I've been back watching regularly for the last four or five years straight. Yeah, like, my last break was... I can't remember what year. Around... It was the time when... It was after Julian and Alexis got divorced. Julian's been dead for two years. So, that gives you an... Uh, yeah, so he was still alive for two, three years after that. Yeah, because the first episode I watched coming back was <laughs> Alexis running him over outside of the bar. <laughs> he was trying to stop her from drunk driving. So, yeah, and that, like Alexis hasn't been a drunk in how many years? A year? A year, almost over a year. So, that, you know, let you know, that's the last time. That was the first episode I watched back from a break that was probably, like, four or five months, maybe. So, since that episode to now, that's how many episodes I've watched straight. So, 
there's a lot of big, there were a lot of baby stories in love. All right, and um, it's time for much more to come there. And now I have no idea what I was just talking about, but anyway, moving on. Um, uh, yeah, I enjoyed the Ava and Portia scenes. Um, I don't know, maybe Ava can be like kind of a um, what do you call it, like a mediator between the two, help them out some. <laughs> But I don't know, because um, I guess Ava and Trina could have some issues in the future with, you know, Ava being the one to knock out Nicholas, and now, you know, he's on life support. <laughs> you know, and now Spencer knows that, you know, all this stuff, you know, with Nicholas and uh, Esme was, you know, because of Esme and Ryan. So, he seemed generally upset about it and Nicholas being missing. So, I don't know. That could, call, that could end up causing some problems, but I hope not. I think that, I think they can, um, they'll be able to work it through. I think, I think they're close enough, a close enough bond that they can work through anything. No, I think it, yeah. Plus, you know, I don't think Ava, Ava, I mean, she didn't purposely do it. I mean, well, I mean, technically, well, she just try to knock his ass out. She won't try to knock him into a coma, but. <laughs> and, you know, I'm gonna stop talking because I don't know, no, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways. Um, but Ava and Carly were talking about the. Yeah, I'm back to Winterman. Backwards, because it leads to Carly and Nina scenes. But Ava was um, basically telling Carly to rise above fate. When it comes to um, Nina um, and try to, you know, be the mediator between Willow and Nina um, and be, be friendly to her. Because, you know, Carly was able to be friendly with Ava for Avery's sake. So, why can't Carly be um, good to Nina for Willow's sake? You know? And, um, Carly, I thought it was funny. <laughs> Carly was like, how did you and Nina become friends? Is it because you hate for me? <laughs> it was like, um, you know, Nina took her daughter, you know, made you, you know, induced your labor to still Avery. How can you get over that? And, you know, that, that's a lot of, that's, um, that was a lot of, um, a lot of people have asked that question, I've seen. Um, <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, but, you know, um, I'm glad that they finally did address that, so then maybe now people can understand how that friendship came about. But basically, Ava said that, well, it's basically, she doesn't know exactly how, but, you know, but now she sees that, you know, Nina's not the deranged woman that she once was, you know, she's gotten better of her, you know, done better with her life, definitely. So she can, um, so, you know, that's how they can be friends, you know. Nina's not, she had the period of time where she went through a bad time, but, you know, she's a much better person now. And I thought it was good that Ava talked to Carly like that. And that, look like Carly was actually considering, um, doing what Ava said. You know, because she had the flashbacks and everything. I'm like, wow, is Carly going to do it? And then Nina shows up because, you know, she's upset. She was with Sunny when Michael came and invited Sunny to the wedding. Um, But, you know, told Sunny about, you know, Willow didn't, you know, Willow didn't extend the invitation for plus one. So, <laughs> so Willow wants to work wants Michael and Sonny to work on things, but isn't really wanting to invite Willow. Willow wasn't interested in inviting Nina. So, you know, Nina and Sonny had, were talking 
Oh, I forgot. Um, Nina. Oh, Nina and Sunny were talking about Sunny hiring Diane to um, talk to Victor's goons about how they were able to kidnap me, Liesel. So. so Nina said that she wanted to know about that, so she wants to be closer to saying business. And then, of course, she overheard about the wedding, and she forgot her purse. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> she came back and overheard Sonny and Michael talking about that. So she was hurt, so she wanted to go talk to Ava. And, of course, Carly was there, and Nina was basically trying to get, uh, was worried about where Ava was, and then she was basically trying to kick Carly out. Uh, and Carly was like, oh, no, I'm not going anywhere. This is a big house. You can pick a room, <laughs> basically. And Nina just, <sighs> yeah, you just know a scene as hella bad when I can. I'm on Carly's side <laughs> with those scenes because Nina was, I mean, I can understand Nina being upset and everything about it, but I mean, Nina just, ugh, lordy. No, she just made everything Carly's fault. I mean, um, Willow um, doesn't want to be close to her and everything. Um, and Carly made great points. She's like, you know, Nina had always been so nasty to Willow. Um, uh, you know, prior to, you know, her, you know, from the beginning, basically, you know, with her, she didn't mention this, um, being Charlotte's teacher and everything, but, you know, when you think about it, go, it goes back to that. <laughs> She's like, yeah, you accused her of having an affair, and then you kept bugging her, you know, bothering her when, you know, she was going through a difficult pregnancy. So, I was like, those are all really good points, you know, did, did that. Um, and now she's your daughter, that's, you know, you just see her as your daughter. You don't really, what did she say? Now, she's trying to see the great in Willow now that she knows that she's daughter, but she's like, Willow's been great, um, from the beginning. I'm like, if you say so. <laughs> but, yeah, I understand how things change. But I think, I think over time, even before Nina found out that Willow was her daughter, that she still sort of cared. Sort of cared about Willow, and she just jumped to conclusions with the affair thingy. But, <clears throat> it was like, you know, if you had told us about the DNA test, then Willow would have known that um, she was. Her... Nina tells Carly that if Carly would have said something about the DNA test before, then Willow would know that she was her mother, and then she could have gotten help, and Lisa could have gotten tested and found out a while ago that um, she was imagining that Willow could be saved now. And Carly's like, she didn't know about the leukemia, and she came forward about the leukemia, um, and she told, and Carly told Nina, she's like, hey, as soon as I found out, I told you that you could be a match. So, which is true, she did. But, um, Nina still said it's her fault. <laughs> I mean, um... I don't know. I guess. Well, we will never know if Carly would have said in the beginning um, about the DNA test would Willow would have gotten treatment sooner or not. But I doubt it because you know she didn't want to hurt Amelia. Um, so that's why she delayed treatment so long. But. Mm -hmm. But, um, Carly, I forgot, um, Carly told Nina that she was just keeping the secret because, um, Willow told her she didn't want to know who her mother was because she was afraid that, um, she would find out her mother was somebody like her 
Yes, she told Nina that. And I'm like, that's why that she did have that skin. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> so I'm, I think it was like, oh, Lil had had a scene with Nina like earlier that episode or the day before or something like that. So, um, uh, fair to be someone like you. Yeah. Which is true. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think Nina, I can understand Nina being angry and stuff, but Harley was seriously, um, starting to feel for Nina and Nina just fucked it all up. <laughs> Which, you know, I think could have been stopped had Nina been able to talk to Ava first and not Carly. Because Nina gets into her car and she flashes back to the conversation with Carly at car with Ava at Metro Court talking about um um Drew and Carly insider trading. And so now it looks like Nina is going to expose that. So she's gonna expose that and make a even bigger mess of the situation and have it so Willow definitely doesn't want to have anything to do with her. And also that and also um also she's gonna fuck up shit with her and Sunny. It's just oh, that's just that's just gonna make me just even more matter. Like, ugh, I could never have nice things. <laughs> Drives me crazy. This show. I'm sorry, I had to Google, I had to look up. Um, because, um, Dex, I remember Dex had brought, um, Christina something. Um, Oh, okay, my shard. Huh. Uh, okay, that's what it was. I was like trying to figure out what was in the envelope that um Dex had gave Christina that Sonny had gave him to give. What was in the envelope Sonny gave to Dex to give to Christina? <laughs> I remember um, last month she had talked to him about wanting to open a restaurant or um, just to do something more. So I was like, because he had warned her, you know, how much, you know, goes into running a restaurant and stuff. So I was like, I thought that maybe he gave her a listing for properties or helped her get a property for um restaurants but no it's just properties to where she could help underprivileged youths or something um yeah it gave her property lessons that could be used as housing for homeless use um she says she's searching for a greater sense of purpose and a charity would do it <laughs> And it's talking about how, oh, how Sunny understands Christina. And they have the closest relationship that Sunny has with any of his kids. Because <laughs> I think Christina is like the only one that he hasn't somehow hurt or hurt her mother. Because <laughs> when you think about it, Lily got blown up. Um, Dante got shot. Michael, um... Sonny killed his biological father. Um, then Michael got kidnapped before. Then he gets. Did Michael get shot in the head too? Because of Sonny's business. And Sonny shot Carly in the head and also cheated on her numerous times. Uh, <laughs> Morgan got blown up. And Donna thought that he was dead. 
and Avery, um, thought that he was dead, but, um, also Sonny was a role as had to, um, Ava, who was definitely doing better, but, um, yeah. So, I guess, yeah, I guess him and Christina. I don't remember Sonny, I think Sonny and Alexis always had a really good relationship, even though she tried to keep Christina away from him, but. Anyways, that's how that went. It was good to see Christina. Yeah. And um we also got to see Yeah, Christina and Sam were talking at um Charlie's. Sam um was talking to Christina about um Yeah, they were talking about Cody. Gladys was there with Sasha and Sam had overheard um Uh, was listening to Sasha and um, Gladys because she's trying to, I guess, get the connection to Gladys and, you know, why she hates Cody so much. But, um, yeah, but Sasha is, like, gonna give Gladys her credit card to order, like, a spa package to a getaway or something they're going to. You know, Sam is, you know, like, listening in. Um, as she's finally picking up that Gladys is basically using Sasha's money. So. Uh, but, um, uh, yeah, Cody got released and he went to the Quartermain Mansion and was talking to Brooklyn. Yeah, he was talking about Brooklyn and how Gladys was setting her up or whatever. And Brooklyn, you know, wanted deeds, but, you know. Cody didn't go into it, but Sasha went there to talk to him, and he admitted that he thinks that Gladys set him up. So, it's like, uh, I guess he's worried about, you know, backlash from Miss Wu with, you know, coming out with, you know, that Gladys is betting, so then that means he's like, yeah, because he's worried about his job at the stables, and then, you know, working with Miss Wu, yeah, he can lose that too, so... Yeah. But, but you know, it was at those like trying to hide her jewelry and stuff. And he's like, oh, I'm not a thief. You know, somebody planted that shit in my jacket. <laughs> but um yeah, but Brooklyn did. She was talking with um I forgot, she was talking with Ned. Um they're talking about how um the situation with Victor could take the stocks with um ELQ. And I guess Valentine didn't want to, um, hasn't really focused on business. He's more focused on, you know, on Anna and everything. So it's not, um, so, um, Ned has been stepping in as CEO of ELQ. Well, Valentine was dead and now working with, um, worried about Anna. I don't think we had any scenes with Valentine and Anna this week. No, but Valentine and Robert did talk. And, um... I don't remember any Valentine and Anna scenes. Huh. Well, I don't know, so... I have no idea what I was about to say. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. I just... That just popped in my head, because, you know... That happened in the same episode. So. Mm. But, um, speaking of, I know I'm, like, so over the place, but, um, while we're on the subject of, um, Brooklyn, I'm like, what are we on the subject for? Brooklyn, um, as you saw at the end of last Friday's episode, she walked in on the, um, meeting of the board. Did I write down what the board? No, I didn't. I was, like, trying to figure out what the board was technically called, the police board or ethics board. I think it's the ethics, I think it was the ethics board or whatever. But they met and talked with Chase and, um, Blaze had showed up and, um, talked about how great Chase was. <laughs> but, um, so, Link is definitely locked up, so it sounds like he's going to be charged, and that this music storyline is finally officially over, 
because Chase is now a detective again. Yay! <sighs> I thought it was funny how they at this board joked about um uh, him. It sounds like, well, if we don't um let you be a detective anymore, you have a music career to fall back on. <laughs> yeah, and I was also I was wondering why Dante wasn't there, but he ended up showing up. The um he snuck in on Tuesday's episode, like near the end of the um hearing. <laughs> but you know, Brooklyn stood up for him too. It's like, oh. And they let him be a detective again. Oh my god, so cute. And Brooklyn was so happy and she just like disappeared afterwards. <laughs> but um <coughs> but Dante gave um Chase his badge back. He said, um, Dante Dante said that him and Jordan had was talking and Jordan was like, you know, they want him back on the force. A S A P so it's like yeah, here's your badge back. Yeah, you don't get your gun back. But did he give? Him? I don't think he gave him a gun. But anyways, um, but Chase is dangerous with his hands, so he doesn't really need it. <laughs> Maybe for Victor casting him, but um, <laughs> but um, no, he's a bit on Chase and um, Brooklyn, um, Brooklyn and Dante ended up talking, and she mentioned. As she called it a favor. So, what is this favor that she called in? And also, um, how is this favor going to affect what happens in the future with Dante? I don't know. With Chase, could this favor like backfire and Chase end up not a detective anymore? Because I could so see that happening. <laughs> <clears throat> just because, you know, why not fuck up something that doesn't need to be. Anyways, but yeah, he's back on the force. And I don't know why my back is just itchy. I don't know. But that's what happened. And speaking of Chase, his daddy has ALS. Like... Right. That explains it. So, <coughs> yeah, he didn't want to. Um, that's why he quit working. He didn't want to, um, like pass out. Um, have Cam pass out in front of um his class. <laughs> he said he had um issues before, but you know the class didn't pick up on it. So, but he said eventually his um. Kids are going to have to take care of him, but he doesn't want them to know about it now. Just let them go on living life as normal. But, you know, he, had, he did that in front of Alexis, so she was all worried about him. And so, eh, I had a feeling um, he had something. Um, I'm glad it's not cancer. I was like, I couldn't really think of what it was that he... I don't know. Did I think there was something... I don't think I picked that a, di a diagnosis for him. I think I just I just knew that there was something wrong with him. But he knows. And Alexis went to the hospital and got a pamphlet about ALS. <laughs> and TJ saw it. <coughs> and you know, like, Alexis is like, no, it's for a friend. <laughs> so they're talking about, you know, talking to a specialist um, doctor there. And then uh, Molly was also there. Um... She was trying to figure out, you know, seeing a doctor about fertility and everything. Dr. Navarro. And I swear that there, there's another actress that played Dr. Navarro. Or is this, I'm like, is the name, name's not new. I swear there was another actress that played her, like, in the early 2000s back when, you know, um, Robin and Patrick were still at the hospital, you know, or it's just a different doctor name. Well, obviously, if <laughs> is this a new name or is this just a new actress playing the the bar? I don't. Know. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking. But anyways, um, Molly might have Angel Mitralis. I probably fuck tri trios. Intramitros. 
I don't know. I always pronounce that shit hella fucking wrong. Cause <laughs> <laughs> I might have had it before, um, but she might have that, so she might have um, fertility troubles. I'm like, oh lordy. Um. <laughs> so may not have a little Molly and TJ in the future, but so we shall see. And Rocky wants my attention. Hi, Rocky. How are you? You have to go potty? <laughs> um. Oh, um. One more thing I have to, um. I think. Um. Oh, well, I do have one more thing to talk about. But I was trying to think, was there something else? I don't know. But anyways, um, this is what I, I don't really, under, I didn't really understand why this thing. But, um, you know, Holly and Felicia, I forgot where they were. But they ended up getting dressed up and going to, like, this, um, Holly found out that Victor was having some kind of auction or meeting or something, and so Holly wanted to go, so, um, Holly and Felicia got dressed up and went, <clears throat> and put, and it turns out that Ethan is on auction. him <laughs> on auction to sell him to the highest bidder to kill him. Um, why would you pay big money to kill somebody? That's, I just, I, the, the whole, those scenes did not, I was just, it didn't make any sense to me. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't understand. Why would you pay big money for somebody and just have them kill I, 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 I don't know. Rich people problems. I don't know. But anyways, um, uh, Ollie, um, wanted to bid a bunch of, what was it, two million, five million? Lots of millions, but got outfitted by somebody for what, ten million? I'm like, oh shit. And the person comes in, and I'm like, oh lordy, is this gonna be Helena? <laughs> but, <clears throat> but it turned out it was, um, Tracy. <laughs> they yank, uh, her, um, her hat fell off. She had, like, this hat on, so nobody could see what she looked like. And her hat got knocked off, and it was Tracy. And she has longer hair now, longer, uh, it looks so good. I love this. She looks so gorgeous. I love Tracy. That's my girl. Favorite Quartermain. <laughs> the Quartermain. All the other ones. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. And what? I forgot who said it. it was Holly or Felicia. I think it was Holly that said Tracy. And so they're like, oh, you know each other? And they just like started fighting and stuff. And um, they're going to take them, lock them up or whatever tell Victor about him, but, um, Ethan got up, and, um, he was able to get loose, and they fought the dudes off, and then, I'm not sure what happened after that, honestly, because I was really hella confused about all of it, I didn't really, I didn't get not one bit of it, um, <laughs> did anybody understand that? I, I, I don't really understand. Yeah, and also they had a different Ethan. Um, he's like a cross. Uh, he looked, well, well, no, he looked like um, Heath Ledger in A Knight's Tale. <laughs> That's what he looked like. And I was like, I'm creeped out. I'm like, um, why does he look like Heath Ledger? Just, just, just here to freak me the fuck out. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if he's less annoying than the other one or not, but I never liked the character of Ethan. Um, I always thought he's annoying. I mean, and I always, 
I never, I never liked his parents. Never liked Luke. Never liked Holly. They both annoyed the absolute fuck out of me. So it was only inevitable that he would do so as well. So, but I don't know that that they only showed on Monday and Tuesday. So we'll see. <sighs> Guess I understand better. Um, and it was itching. Sorry. Next week, I guess. But anyways, um. That's all I had to say. But I know Helena's coming. Coming back. I can't wait for her to come back. I know. Now I'm like picturing that. <laughs> picturing Victor entering hell. And then there's like. Because Helena's his mother, right? I don't know. The Cassidine connection kind of dragged me off. But um, that's his mother, right? Um, Yeah. So that would be his mother. Um. So, she's like right there at the gates of hell. Welcome, my son. <laughs> but also, um, <clears throat> that's, her, oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Laura and Alexis were talking, and Alexis was talking about how Victor didn't include her or um, Sam, Molly, or um, Christina in his plans. <laughs> Alexis was like, you know, I'm... She's basically saying she feels left out. That's what I was getting from what she was saying. I'm like, well, did you want to be kidnapped? <laughs> but I would really like to see. I would have really liked to see um, them, the Davis girls, be more involved in Cassidine drama. I thought that would have been fun. Something different. That would have been something for Christina to do. Never get to see her, but. I don't know. I mean, Sonny was already involved in the storyline, so why not um, include his daughter? Um, his daughter is part Cassidine. Why not? Um, <laughs> but yeah, it sounded like Alexis was kind of hurt she was kept out. <laughs> oh, and I forgot um, what's his name? Robert and Diane were going to go out. <clears throat> And something happened to Robert's car, and um, he was trying to fix it, and he started it and got dirt or whatever all over Diane. I'm like, oh, they're just trying to <clears throat> put them together. I'm like, oh lordy. Oh. Anyways, that's all I had to say about this week, and yeah, I talked more about stuff that I didn't write down than I did that I wrote down. If that makes sense. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up. Let me <laughs> let me know in the comments what did you enjoy. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is starting to go away. What did you enjoy and didn't enjoy this week? And if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Because why not? And um, share the video even if it's to make fun of me being all over the place and not knowing what the fuck she's talking about. Anyways. I blame it on not having lunch yet. Yeah, I need to eat lunch. But, um, anyways, enjoy the rest of your weekend and happy Earth Day. Do something earthy. Recycle. I don't know. Um, but it's a very nice day. Sunny, but it's supposed to rain later. But it's still not going to be cold. So I can live with the rain, the cold I can. I'm glad the cold. Seems to be gone for now, at least. At least stay away. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Love y'all. Bye.